virtual hug. It's so nice to see you. Welcome back. I am so excited to be back on YouTube. We have a lot of catching up to do. Before I start this rant, please let me know how you're doing in the comments. It means so much to me and I miss my little YouTube community. So please let me know how you guys are doing. You can see the peace sign in the window back there. Cool. I don't want to clickbait anybody. So I'm going to get right into what I put in the title. Two years off social media, a year off of YouTube. What are my thoughts? I don't miss it, y'all. I don't. I don't miss Instagram, I don't miss Facebook, I don't miss it. I just love my mindset being off of social media. I know that, you know, you connect a lot more and I do feel that divide with people. I meet them and I'm like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. And they're like, what's your Instagram? And I'm like, I don't have one. And there is a little bit of a divide there. I also want to acknowledge the role that social media can play in starting your own business, sharing your art and music, or just connecting on like the social currency that it carries in a community. I just personally am choosing not to engage with that, but I do realize how helpful it can be. I always will recommend taking a break. I taught media literacy to middle schoolers for a couple years and, you know, I do think it still, I stand by what I said in my last video. I think there are some really detrimental effects caused by social media and I personally love being off social media. Please watch my other video if you want to know more about why I quit it, but as an update, yeah, I love being off of it. I don't miss it and you know I do miss sharing stories because a lot of cool magical stories have happened to me in the past year and I wanted to share them um, but that's why I made this YouTube so part two I quit my career y'all I'm no longer a teacher I quit teaching and that should probably be a whole other video in itself but long story short a public school teaching career was not for me and I was so scared to quitting teaching is really hard and dealing with guilt dealing with sadness, dealing with pressure from society to stick with it. It's, some people are going to think you're lazy or that you just don't care about kids, but that's not it. The moments that I had with my students and the learning experiences that we both shared are forever going to be in a special place in my heart. And if you are watching, please say hello. I miss y'all. If you are a teacher, I commend you. You are awesome. Keep it up. You were born for this. You are meant for this. If you ever want to quit teaching, bring it in. That's okay too. That's okay too. And you are meant to do whatever your calling is. And it's actually a disservice to do, to be a teacher if you don't want to be one. Like, so I, it, it's true. It's just not for me. And it's okay if in life you have tried something and it's not for you. Whether that be a job, whether that be a relationship, whether that be anything, know that it is never too late to switch it up. And it's really scary on the other side of things, especially when that thing that you're letting go is like your comfort. Teaching for me was my comfort. It was safe, but know that you are brave and you're talented and you can create whatever life you want for yourself. And especially if your intuition is telling you to leave that situation, leave it. Elephant in the room, just in case someone comments. Did cut my hair. It's short y'all. And it was shorter. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope that you're doing well. Please let me know. And, okay, um, can I sing for you? It might not be perfect, but it's good. Also, shout out to all my friends lately that have been so inspiring. One gave me this. Shout out to you now. Thank you again. This is literally for you. If you feel like emotional, good, because I feel emotional. <laughs> oh, how would you stay? Finish out this beautiful day.